<clears throat> Everybody, Ben with BRG here again. <clears throat> I'm gonna do another group of five video. This is this one's actually pretty cool. This one is gonna start two four and one three five, which is seems kind of cool. But then really quickly, I realized that this is actually uh, a nice chord exercise. Um, when you start at two and four in the scale patterns, would be like the chord in the next mode, the root chord for the next mode, and the one three five is like your uh, chord for the mode you're in. So when I go through these, I'm doing like when I start in the Ionian mode, I'm doing a minor chord on the like G minor and then F major. You know, it's kind of cool. Like a, the first part of the like the minor third for the chord at G, and then the, the whole chord for the chord at F. And it kind of follows that pattern. And it gives you some really nice ideas as you go up the neck here. But <clears throat> without further ado, here's the first one. Like I said, two, four, one, three, five. So second note in our will be the third fret of the low E string, so the G. And our fourth note in the pattern was the B flat. So like that, and then the one, three, five of the pattern would be. So I've got the minor, like dyad or whatever, you know, the minor three. And that kind of theme goes up the entire scale through each mode. It starts minor, then and major in this case, and then, then it's going to be minor and minor, and then so on and major, and it gets kind of mixed up, minor and the major, and so on, and some other cool stuff as we go. I don't exactly remember the pattern, but I know how they play. So, next one, we're going to go to the Dorian mode. I got what we're going to do. The fifth fret of the low E, the third fret of the A, and then three, six on the low E, and then five on the A. So, some of this has got, it's got some really usable type qualities to it. Moving up to the Phrygian mode. This will be a major chord, B flat major, and then A minor actually. So it'll be uh, six and six on the low E, five on the A, five and eight on the low E, seven on the A. That was actually pretty easy to play because of the separation of the fingers. Um, moving up to the Lydian mode. I'm going to do uh, a major chord and then a major chord. So this is kind of sweet. You've got the position shift here, as we've had in each one of these videos. So I'm going to do 8 to 7, 8 on the E, 7 on the A. Do 6 to 10 on the low E, and then finish with 8 on the A string. And it's got the position shift. It's kind of sweet. So... Solidian mode, and this is going to map out the same as the Ionian pattern because we're only using five notes. So it's going to be a minor third and then a major chord. So it's going to be 10 to 8, 10 to low E, 8 on the A, and then 8 to 12 on the low E, and then 10 on the A string. Like this. Right? Moving on to the Alien or natural minor scale here at the D. Um, it's going to be 12 on the low E to 10 on the A string, and it's going to be 10, 13 on the low E, and then 12 on the A string to finish. So just like the Dorian, only with the 10th fret. And going into our last mode, low cream mode, this is going to be 13 and 12, so 13 on the low E, 12 on the A string, and then 12 to 15 on the E, and 13 on the A string. So you got the major, and then follow the diminished chord. I'm going to do that with my, my third finger. Kind 
tricky to play some of those. And what I liked about this when I first mapped it out is that it's basically half of a, like part of a chord and then a whole chord, you know, each one. I suppose if you got that all as one long seamless thing, it'd sound pretty sick. Um, that's going up to the next octave, and I can work work on that, and I think that'd be pretty pretty cool. Song. Yeah, definitely that that Olivian mode is a hiccup because of the positions here. You might find another way to finger it, like you might... Uh... Yeah, but then you're rolling your third finger, so you have to like take it. Which, which one's easier? Which one do you like better? Anyway, that's the 37th permutation in our groups of five. Um, and that's actually kind of cool because there's some theory in there too. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching, I've got more coming. I'm going to start covering permutations of six, too, because those are sweet. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. The gear again, Legator, Buckeye Fire, Ninja V, Fishman Fluence Pickups, DV Mark, Stereo Multi Amp, and uh, Jazz Repicks. D, uh, Roto Sound, uh, 9 through 46 strings. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, keep watching, I've got more coming. Thanks.